Hey guys, thank you for tuning in my channel and welcome to another episode of Read the Bible with me. I'm glad to be making Bible reading videos again. Anyways, today's chapter is Genesis 41. Two years later, the king had a dream. He dreamed that he was standing on the bank of the Nile River. Wow, standing on the bank of the Nile River, huh? She must be lucky. He saw seven beautiful cows come up out of the river. They stood there eating the grass. Then seven more cows came up out of the river, but they were thin. They stood beside the seven beautiful cows on the bank of the Nile. The seven thin cows and the seven beautiful cows. Then the king woke up. The king slept again and dreamed the second time. In his dream, he saw seven full and good heads of grain growing on one stalk. After that, seven more heads of grain sprang up, but they were thin and burned by the hot east west. The thin heads of grain and seven full of good heads. Wow. Imagine the thin and things in the beautiful things. Wow. That, that, those are some weird dreams, if you ask me. Then the king woke up again and he realized it was only a dream. The next morning, the king was troubled about these dreams, so he said, for all the magicians and the wise men of Egypt, the king told them big dreams. I mean, his big dreams. I mean, the king told them his dreams, but no one could explain their meaning to them. Then the chief officer who served wine to the king said to him, I remember something I promised to do, but I had forgotten about it. There was a time when you were... You were there was a time when you were getting me and the baker. Wow! Imagine the king being ticked at you for... You... For uh, what you forgot to do. Let's keep reading. In prison, we each had a dream on the same night. Each dream had a different meaning. And then the Hebrew man was thrown in the prison with us. He was a servant of the captain and the guard. We told him our dreams and he explained their meanings to us. He told these men the meaning of his dream. Things happen and exactly just then as he said they would. I was getting by my position and the and the beggar was hanged. Flashback to last chapter. So the king called for Joseph. The guards quickly brought him out of the prison. He shaved, put on clean clothes, and went before the king. The king said to Joseph, I have had a dream, but no one can explain its meaning to me. I have heard that you can explain a dream when someone tells it to you. Joseph answered the king, I am not able to explain the meaning of dreams. God will do this for the king. Then the king said to Joseph, In my dream, I was standing on the bank of the Nile River. I saw seven beautiful cows. They came around the river and ate the grass. Then I saw seven more cows came out of the river. They were thin and lean. And they were the worst looking cows I have seen in all the land of Egypt. And these thin and ugly cows ate the first seven beautiful cows. But after they had eaten the seven cows, no one could tell they had eaten them. They just looked as thin as they did them in the beginning. Then I woke up. I had another dream. I saw seven full and good heads of grain growing on one stalk. Then some more heads of grain sprang up after them, but these hens were thin. They were burned by the hot east wind. Then the thin heads ate the seven good heads. I told this dream to the magicians, but no one could explain this meaning to me. Then Joseph said to the king, both of these dreams mean the same thing. God is telling you what he is about to do. The seven good cows stand for seven years, and the seven good heads of grain stand for seven years. 
both dreams mean the same thing, and the, the seven thin cows, and the seven thin cows stand for seven years, and the seven thin has a grain burned by the hot east wind, stand for seven years of hunger. This what happens as I told you. Guys, showing the king what he's about to do. You will have seven years of good crops and plenty to eat it on the land of Egypt. But after those seven years, there will come seven years of hunger all the food that grew in the land of Egypt will be forgotten. The time of hunger will eat up the land. People will forget what it was like to have plenty of food. This is because the hunger that falls will be so great. You have two dreams that mean the same thing. This shows that God has firmly decided that this will happen. And he will make it happen soon. So let the king choose a man who is very well understanding. Let the king send him over the land of Egypt. And let the king also appoint officers over the land. They should take one fifth of all the food that's grown during the seven good years. Oh, wow. They should gather all the food that is produced during the good years that are coming. Under the king's authority, they should store the grain in the cities and guard it. That food should be saved for later. It will be used during the seven years of hunger that will come on the land of Egypt. The, Egypt. the people in Egypt will not pass on during the seven years of hunger. This is getting interesting, the zinc. This seemed like a very good idea to the king. All his officers agreed. And the king asked them, he asked them, can we find a better man than Joseph to take the job? God's spirit is truly in him. So the king said to Joseph, God has shown you all this. There is no one as understanding as you are. I will put you in charge of my palace. All the people will obey your orders. Only I will be greater than you. The, the king said to Joseph, look, I have put you in charge and all the land of Egypt. Then the king took off from his own finger his ring and the royal seal on it. Wow! Imagine taking off, taking off your own ring and he put it on Joseph's finger. He gave Joseph fine linen clothes to wear and he put a gold chain around Joseph's neck. The king had Joseph run the royal the second royal chariot. Men want the head and carry on bow down by doing these things. The king put Joseph in charge of all of Egypt. The king said to him, I am the king, and I say that no one in all the land of Egypt may let the hand or foot unless you say you may. The king gave Joseph the name Saphonath Panea. He also gave Joseph a spouse named Asenath. She was the daughter of Pyavera, prince of On. So Joseph traveled around the island of Egypt, and he was 30 years old when he began serving the king of Egypt. Um, I've got a good deal about this. And he left the king's court and traveled to all the land of Egypt. During his every good years, the crops grew, the crops the land grew well. And Joseph gathered all the food produced in Egypt. 37 years of good crop. Oops. He stole the food in the city. He stored food in the cities, and in every city, he stored grain that had been grown in the fields around that city. Joseph stored much grain, as much as the sand and the seashore. He stored so much that he could measure it. I don't. I got a really good feeling about this. Oh, Joseph's palace was as enough. Thought of Pythira. The price of of on before the other hunger came. Joseph and Asenath had two sons. Joseph named the first son Medicine. Mm. Joseph said, God has made me forget all the troubles I've had and all my father's family. Joseph
Joel is like Nathan saying something in Ephraim. Um, uh huh. Um, wow. These are the hard to pronounce. I mean, who would do them these names? Joel said, God has given me the inner land of my troubles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This Bible is getting real interesting. It's ever good. Good year, the good crops came to an end. In the land of Egypt, they still used to hunger began. This is just as sad. In the land, people had nothing to eat. But in Egypt, there was food. The time of hunger became terrible all over Egypt. The pe people cried to the king for food. He said to all the Egyptians, Go to Joseph, do whatever he told you to do. Hmm. Mm hmm. Imagine. What if Rue spent several good years several good years of food and seven years of hunger after that? Strange, isn't it? <laughs> the hunger was everywhere a part of the world. And Joseph walked up in the storehouse and Justin opened and Joseph opened the storehouses and stole the grain to people of Egypt. That's why because the time of hunger became terrible in Egypt and all the people in that part of the world came to Joseph in Egypt to buy grain. This was because the hunger was terrible everywhere in that part of the world. So that was Genesis 41. And I'm glad to be making bar reveals again, going back to my one chapter three strategy. Anyways, this watch this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to push the like button, comment down below once you want to see and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. So until next time, this is see you guys in the next video. Bye!